The mayor of Wigglesworth had 10 children, all girls, and they were all rude, loud, jealous, and quarrelsome. And yet the mayor loved them dearly. In fact, the mayor was so convinced of their charms that every year he entered one of his daughters in the Wigglesworth City Personality Contest, and every year she won first prize. Now, how could this be? The answer is simple. The mayor was the most influential man in Wigglesworth City, and none of the judges for the contest wanted to offend him. Also, the mayor was not shy, especially when it came to promoting the interests of his daughters. He would go to see the three judges before the contest was held and talk to them. Every year it was the same. One of the mayor's daughters was awarded first prize, but this year an especially pleasant young lady by the name of Mary Marigold had entered the contest. When the mayor went to see the judges to ask them to award first prize to his daughter Gotha, a strange thing happened. The judges paused and coughed and cleared their throats and would not, as they had in the past, definitely say yes. What's going on here? The mayor asked. Are you or aren't you going to crown my beautiful daughter Gotha as queen of the Wigglesworth City Personality Contest? One of the judges replied, First, we must interview the young ladies. The mayor answered, Go ahead and interview them as long, just as long as my Gotha wins first prize. Then he left, slamming the door behind him. The interviews were held. Mary Marigold displayed a lovely voice and exhibited perfect manners. Gotha, on the other hand, entered the judge's room and said, Hurry up. Let's get this interview over with. We all know who's going to win the contest. So ask your questions and give me the prize. If you don't, I'll have my father fire you. As soon as Gotha left the room, the first judge summoned his courage and said to the others, This state of affairs simply won't do. There must be a change. But we have always given first prize to the mayor's daughters, said the second judge. Yes, said the third, and in doing so, we have ignored some wonderful young ladies, for the mayor's sake. This year we must do what's fair. Mary Marigold must win first prize. You're right, said the second judge. It's not fair to keep the other girls from winning. So Mary Marigold received first prize, and when the mayor complained, the judges said his daughters had always won the prize, and now the time had come for some pleasant girls to win some. So whenever someone is charming, attractive, cheerful, and bright, think of Mary Marigold, whose lovely personality and smile persuaded the judges that pleasant girls deserve to win some. And you will remember the word, win some.